it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here at Webbit in Sofia, Bulgaria, and I'm with Anu Acharya. She is the founder and CEO of Met My Genome. So good to have you here. Great. Uh, thank you for uh, talking to me. Oh my gosh, no, no problem. So tell me a little bit about Met My Genome. I mean, this, this is one of those spaces with the genomic testing that's getting a little crowded. So how are you guys doing something different? So I've been in genomics for about 20 years. I uh, worked a lot in the, with the big pharma and biotechs uh, in the U.S. and in, in Europe and others. But I think the reason I started Map My Genome was that I found there's a big um, inequality in terms of uh, genomic information available and the data that is there. So if you think about it, Indians are 20% of the world, but we have only about 0.2% of the data. Oh, geez. <laughs> so so that's that was the equation I wanted to change, uh, inequation or whatever, yeah. or the inequality that I wanted to change. And so I decided to venture on in something, uh, instead of working with the pharma and biotechs, I decided to work with consumers and clinicians. So. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the service you're providing. You're providing the genetic testing, right? And then what are you doing? How are you, are you guys providing any kind of genetic consulting or what, what do you do beyond just the test? Certainly. So uh, what we realized is that in the end, I think consumers, uh, it's not just about getting a genetic report because I think for most people, it's a difficult thing to understand what probability means, right? When you say risk, it's usually a probability. So we do a genetic uh, report, but we also take in a lot of information on the clinical history, on the family history and all of that. Okay. And then we have a genetic counselor who will actually put all of that together and give you uh, recommended action items. Okay. And then you get a second report that basically tells you that, okay, um, based on your genetic report and your health history and your family history, these are the recommended lifestyle and uh, dietary changes, and you can get uh, screening activity. What we are now doing is to take it a few steps further. Uh, so we have also started to add uh, personalized vitamins. Uh, we have started to add um, brain-based uh, health uh, testing for okay. consumers. And the idea is that you know it's not just about giving someone report or tell them what you can do, but if we can facilitate the process of actually making those changes, I think then then we have been able to uh, actually make an impact. Okay, so it's doing the it's doing the testing, getting the data. It's providing analysis of the data and action items, basically, and then it's helping facilitate the action items. Absolutely. Okay, got it. All right, are you testing? Is your test? I know that sometimes there's small differences between what's being tested. So 23andMe does certain things, and Nebula does other things. So is your test? What, like, I mean, are you testing everything? What are you What are you mapping exactly? So I think while we do a full genome sequencing as well, so you can potentially look at anything. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have three products that we have created for consumers. Um, one product that is for people who don't want to know about diseases, right? So they just want to know about their fitness, uh, wellness, and nutrition. Okay. Uh, so that's something that, you know, when people say, I don't want to know about health risks, we okay. do, do that. Uh, then there, we have one which is uh, primarily for pharmacogenomics. So it basically uh, tells them that, you know, these are 150 drugs out there that have a uh, required or recommended genetic test, and we'll give you that profile right away. Uh, and the third is more a comprehensive. It's it has uh, traits, it has disease risk, it has uh, pharmacogenomics and others. And I think that's our most popular product. Okay. Uh, but we also do exome sequencing and, and uh, whole genome sequencing if the person needs it. So okay. a lot of times we realize that you know genetics is still fairly new, um, yeah. even in developed parts of the world. Um, so in India, it is, it is even, um, it's still a novel area. So I think we have to not only educate consumers, but we also have to make sure that we give them the best guidance possible. As you're going through and, you know, going through this genetic testing, particularly in India, have you uncovered anything that's been surprising to you? We have. I think we. Uh, I think today in the talk, I mentioned a few things that we found. Um, you know, one was, uh, you know, we found that in our database that um, the lactose intolerance was quite high, uh, which okay. was surprising because Indians are used to drinking a lot of milk products. Uh, we also found uh, very different. Uh, we found some differences, but I think, you know, uh, we do find small differences, and I think you know it's those differences that make us uh, yeah. unique. And I think we will continue to add on to that as we build our database. Uh, and I think giving people trends and understanding, uh, you know, and it's not just about being Indian because Indians are also comprised of five different ancestries. Uh, so it might not, we can't just create a blob and say in Indian. Yeah, so we'll have to also separate that out. So we are on, we are, I think right now in a journey, I think the whole genetic testing world is still fairly new worldwide. So I would say that, you know, there's still a lot that all of us need to know.
I would agree with that. And I was going to ask you, too, I mean, to that point, I mean, I think, like, especially right now, the things that we're, we're getting in the news, particularly in the U.S., are related to 23andMe and related to, you know, kind of the negative side of, of genomic testing. Do you, I mean, if, 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 from your perspective, as somebody who's in this space, what do you think are is, is the worst misconception about genomic testing and, and kind of this, this space? And what, what issues are you worried about as an entrepreneur who's got a company in this area? So I think if you think about genetic testing and where we are today, we are still early stages and, and uh, we've all actually built on the knowledge that's already out there. And I think one of the biggest negative things you're getting right now is that most of these companies are trying to steal your data, which is not true, right? right. I think most companies are definitely using it, but using an anonymized version of the data, that too for consented samples. So I don't think, at least the companies you mentioned, I don't think anyone's doing anything illegal or anything yes. wrong. And I think in the end, um, a lot of research, a lot of new medicines, a lot of uh, diagnostics will be dependent on that. So I think I've, I want to make sure that people understand that, you know, it's it definitely privacy is in their hands, but also the future of, the, of health and future of the world is in their hands as well. So I think people should understand those slight differences um, yeah. and, and make, make sure that they take the right uh, decisions that come. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Best of luck to you as you're setting out on this. It's always exciting to see a new companies kind of tackle new markets. So very, very exciting. Thank you, so thank you so much. I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here at Webbit in Sofia, Bulgaria. Thanks for joining us.